Airtable's native automations are powerful, but they're not built for everything. In this video, I'll show you how to connect NAN with Airtable to go beyond the limits, handling complex automations and integrations, and connecting with the rest of your tech stack, even integrating with AI. Hey there, I'm Alex Knowles from automationhelpers.com, and we help companies get set up using the best apps, portals, and integrations. In this video, you'll learn how to connect N8N to Airtable and go beyond the limitations of Airtable's native automations. By the end, you'll understand how to build real workflows in N8N that connect tools, handle logic, and even bring in AI. But let's jump into an Airtable base firstly. We've got our different tables here for our lead intake base. And we've also set up some native automations. Now, don't get me wrong. Airtable has provided us with a lot of power when it comes to native automations. Beyond being able to set up automated workflows within app, we can also connect to the likes of Slack, Gmail, Google Calendar, and more. But there are limitations here. We can see here that we've got automations to auto-assign reps, notify those reps, mark statuses, and we've even got the lead enrichment, which was made possible with the recent release of Airtable web table. So check that video out. Airtable's automation is a great starting point and great to continue with if you are managing small data sets. NAN comes over on top when you need more complexity, control, better data handling, and more importantly, you want to connect to the other tools in your tech stack. When it comes to adopting a third-party tool for your automated workflows, you may be familiar with Zapier and Make. Now, similar to Airtable automations, these are great for getting started. But if you're budget conscious, you want more complexity and control over your workflows, then N8N is the perfect alternative. And when it comes to the cost, you'll be paying more for Zapier or Make in comparison to N8N. Airtable's native automations are a great starting point and great to continue with if you've only got a small data set. Connecting Airtable to N8N is easy. We have three main practical ways that we connect the two. The first is through the N8N Airtable node, which we'll look at first. Webhooks, second. And third is polling Airtable on a schedule. This is useful when you want to avoid Airtable's automation run limits or you don't need an instant trigger. Now, each method has its own use case, but let's start with the most common, the Airtable node, which gives you full control to read, write, update, and delete records. So let's add that node by searching for Airtable. This is gonna be our trigger event. So we'll select that here and we'll select triggers. Now we need to actually connect and verify that connection between Airtable and N8N. So we're going to select to create new credential. We can connect either via the API key, which is great for personal use and testing, the access token, much more secure or OAuth. Now we're gonna go with access token. Now I've made sure to leave in the description of this video, this particular link up here. It's where you'll be able to create and access your tokens. Now when you connect Airtable to N8N using a personal access token or OAuth, you need to define two key things, scopes and access. Scope relates to the level of permission that you're granting for this app. So for example, here we've got read, update, write. Well, the best practice is only giving the scopes that you need for that workflow. For my workflow, I need to read my Airtable base. I need to write, I need to update. So I'm gonna give it all permissions available. Now, when it comes to access, this relates directly to what bases, what workspaces are available in this flow. This is the same as for Zapier, Make, or any automation tool. When you connect your platform Airtable to those automation tools, you'll be prompted to authorize access and choose which bases it is granted permission for. So I've just quickly opted as a lazy decision to go for all resources, but you can select specific bases and tables. So we'll create that token, and then we just need to copy the token, jump back into our NAM workflow, and paste it there. Once we've pasted it, we'll click save and we can see that the connection tested successfully. So we can close this bad boy and now it's time to continue on with setting up the trigger. So I've just jumped in and I've included the URL of our base and our table, that lead intake air table base that we've been working on and the trigger field, that's going to be the status. So we're going to fetch test data and here we can see it's executed successfully and it's brought in the most recently edited record we got sophie if we jump back over here here we can see that same record there so it's correctly pulling in the data and now that we've set up that trigger node 
NAN is going to watch our Airtable base and find those records with the status field updated. We can then build out our workflow, bring in AI, other apps from your tech stack, format and change the data, include branching and logic, as well as bring in our team members. But you or your team might not want this kind of trigger. It's a scheduled trigger. It's taking a look at your base and seeing recent updates. It doesn't occur programmatically when something happens. And that's when you would lean on using a webhook. So we're back in N8N and we're still on that first step because we need a new trigger and that's going to be a webhook. So we'll select to add a new step. We're going to select webhook. Okay, let's look at setting this up. So we've got our webhook set up here. We've got the test URL we'll be using for this video, but you will want to use the production URL once you have things set up. We've got the method here that could be get or post. We won't talk too much on that. Authentication, path, response, etc. So I've copied this URL. We'll jump into our Airtable automations. We'll create a new automation and the trigger event will be when that status for a lead becomes qualified. So I'll select the table leads. The condition is going to be when the status, as we just said, is qualified. And we'll add a run script step. Now, again, if you want to learn the other ways that you can initiate a webhook and air table, check out this video where I dive into it. But we'll jump into the code input and we'll paste our URL there. And that's not going to work because Airtable can't understand or read that URL. Instead, we need to format this so that the run script step will actually work. And ta-da, like magic, we've formatted that URL so that now we'll be able to actually test sending this and it's going to send off. Now, don't be overwhelmed by this. It might look intimidating, but it's really not. You could actually directly reach out to ChatGPT or Claude to format and change your webhook URL into a script like this. But let's continue on. So we can see here that we've got the record ID, status, email, and name. Now, Airtable, while it is powerful, isn't magic. So we're actually going to need to add variables for each of these. So we've got the record ID. I've added a variable name for that. And now I need to bring in that value. So it's the Airtable record ID. Then next we'll be doing the status because that is something important. So if I search status and then I'll add the others. And ta-da, we're bringing in the values and we're telling Airtable what is the variable, the dynamic thing that will be replaced by our actual values. So we're going to jump back into N8N, ensure that this is all set up. Now we do want to ensure that we are using that same method. So here we've got get. So I'm just going to change this to post for this example. So we've clicked to run a test on this and we're going to jump into N8N and we're going to listen for that test. And here we can see that the node was executed successfully. It's brought in our record ID, our status, our email, and the name from that value there we can see John Smith in our leads. So we've successfully set up the trigger. Now it's time to look at what we can achieve with our Airtable data in N8N. Now I quickly just want to discuss those three practical ways that we can use Airtable with N8N. We looked at the Airtable node, we looked at triggering through a webhook, and now we want to look at polling or scheduling, which is actually something that we did in that initial Airtable node. The Airtable trigger node in NAN works by polling Airtable for new or updated records at a regular interval, which you set here. But that does have its limitations because you can't schedule it for a specific time like 2 p.m. It only triggers on new or updated records, so not based on filtered conditions. For example, a status is set to overdue. Let's poll Airtable. Hey, which records are overdue? Okay, let's use those in our workflow. So the better way to run a polling or scheduled node for Airtable is to start with the N8N cron node. We can then set it to specifically 2 p.m. daily or whatever suits you. And we can then add an Airtable node to search records or list records and apply those filters that we discussed earlier, like the overdue budget, a due date, or a status is complete. And then we can loop through those records by performing whatever logic you want send reminder emails, update statuses, trigger alerts, whatever it might be. Now, this gives you much more control over when and how often your polling Airtable to give you the info, the data you need, and run your automated workflows. 
So we've taken a look at how you can set up Airtable within N8N, how you can connect to your other apps and automate your workflows. We've looked at the practical ways that we can do this, but we're still yet to mention how you can bring AI directly in. Now, yes, Airtable does offer AI field agents, but N8N gives you much more. You've got the logic, the control, integrations with your favorite apps and AI, which can suddenly be brought into your workflow both intelligent and reactive. So instead of setting 10 conditions within your workflow, you could bring in AI and just ask it to decide what to do. And instead of manually reviewing forms, well, you can let AI summarize or extract key details and save you and your team time. But what about AI agents? And this is something that N8N has been so popular for for so long. Now, we're not going to dive too deeply into how you can use AI with N8N and Airtable. That itself is a whole nother video. But if you are eager to see content on how you can build N8N AI agents, how you can connect Airtable to those agents, and how you can automate your workflows with N8N, make sure to leave a comment below. And before I let you go, I just want to share with you an automated workflow that you could build to really help you and your team get more done and free up time to focus on the more important parts of your business. Here we've got our workflow, which is the client lead AI follow-up and notification. This is somewhat possible to achieve within Airtable, but at a more simplistic level. N8N gives us the power of more complexity and control. So the goal is that when a new lead is added to that Airtable base, that lead is summarized using AI, a personal follow-up email is sent, a notification is sent to the team, a rep is assigned, and the interaction is logged. The first step could be the Airtable trigger node, or it could be the webhook. It receives a new record in your leads table. That's when a new lead is created. From there, we then run an AI response, which we're asking it to write a short, thankful email to a lead name, and we're bringing that in, who just joined with the status of the lead. That then messages a Slack channel, allowing our team to know that we've got a new lead. Now you can take N8N so much further than the workflow I just showed you. You have the ability to connect to your entire tech stack, whether that be through native integrations or an API call, but basically you're able to get so much more done than you can with just Airtable automations. Well, I hope this was a helpful video. If you want to learn more about Airtable or N8N, well, check out the playlist that I've linked in the description below. If you need help setting up your business for success and automating all the moving parts, don't hesitate to reach out to us at automationhelpers.com where a team of experts are offering a free 30-minute consultation. So book yours today.